a Georgia sheriff is facing sexual battery charges for groping Judge Glenda Hatchett during a conference. Y'all, the Cobb County Solicitor's Office filed the charges against Bleckley County Sheriff Chris Cootie for fondling Judge Glenda Hatchett at a sheriff's convention earlier this year. After turning himself in, Cootie is out on bond and says he's taking the charges seriously. Cootie says he's looking forward to personally expressing his regrets to Judge Hatchett at the appropriate time. Now, so so, so what happened here, what happened here, y'all, uh, was um, uh, Judge Hatchett uh, was the guest of uh, someone else. And what happened was uh, she was introduced to this sheriff who then uh, apparently um, he approached her. The guest turned turned away and then turned around and then literally saw him running his hand over her left breast. Now, uh, this Sheriff Cootie, uh, according to the other guy, uh, likely was intoxicated and he literally slapped his hand back, cussed him out. Now, Judge Hatchett was not the one who filed the complaint. It was filed by the gentleman who invited her, but she did allow her name to be used and she was shocked and stunned by this. Uh, and so, Kelly, so here he, you have this sheriff. He wants to express his regret. How about you just plead guilty? I mean, there there's so many things that went through my mind when I first heard this story, but primarily he was not arrested on the spot. Um, that was the most concerning to me, the fact that he was not held responsible at the very moment with witnesses there um, assaulting this, this black woman. And I, I was just, I was just really, really speechless. And if I'm not mistaken, he tried to flee the, the country or something like that. And then they convinced him to come back um, so that he could, you know, face um, accountability or something like that. And I'm just like, the the fact that you had to go through all of that just to have a semblance of justice for this well-respected, frankly, world-renowned judge um, who happens to be a Black woman. I mean, I, I, I really have no words. And I also saw some comments, you know, when I was reviewing this story of like, well, what about her date? What did he do? What have you? I mean, I don't I can't speak for how other people would react when you see something like that because it is so out of the norm. It is so uncommon to do that so publicly, so brazenly, whether you're uh, intoxicated or not. The fact that you felt entitled to someone else's body in that regard, if I were a third party to see that, you know, I know what I would do, but I can't put what I would do on somebody else. Like that was traumatizing for all parties involved, you know, less the, the assailant himself. So I hope that she gets justice. I hope that, you know, they bury him under the jail. He does not deserve any type of goodwill towards him because that is absolutely disgusting, no matter who's involved, but least of all, uh, uh judge hatchet. I'm, I'm, I'm just sort of sitting here, uh, uh, Jason, going, uh, I want to maybe express my regret. How about your ass just plead guilty and own up to it? I did it. Right. Uh, I, it shows you the hubris of an entitled old white guy. Uh, it, it's unbelievable, number one, the disrespect to do that to a judge. Not, that shouldn't, now, don't get me wrong, that shouldn't happen to anybody. Um, at any time. But I think he was aware of who she was and still was like, who cares? Um, and was willing to break the law out in the open. That shows you the disrespect he has for women's bodies, the disrespect he has for black women's authority. Uh, and just his, you know, if he's willing to break the law so brazenly and, and out in the open, you know, what is he doing behind closed doors? You know, um, it, it it also, for me, it calls into question, I think there should, there should be an audit of his department. What is he doing 
you know, as sheriff, what are his deputies doing? If he is, you know, willing to be out, get so intoxicated that he's willing to grab a, or, or run his hand along, you know, a woman's breast, a judge, no less, at a public event. And the fact that it's, you know, just one misdemeanor count, I, like they couldn't, they come up with charges after charges for a lot less. Um, the fact that, you know, it's just one misdemeanor sexual battery charge, uh, to me, it sounds like there's probably more they could have come up with um, to charge him with. And he's just going to express his regret and move on. Uh, that, to me, is, you know, you know, something's broken with the system when you can do that. And something also tells me if that had been you, Roland, if that had been uh, Mike, uh, or if that had been me, uh, I think that the charges would have been very different, um, particularly, you know, we, we could go a whole lot with that scenario. Um, but, you know, I, I think, again, a mediocre white guy can get away with a whole lot. And he's just like, I'll just apologize and get, a, get it over with. And he won't even plead guilty to, the, to what he did, even though he's acknowledging publicly yeah. that he did it. Yeah, uh, I think that's where you say, uh, player, uh, you just need to go ahead and uh, plead guilty uh, and move the hell on. Um, All right, folks, back to our Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. Folks, Black Star Network is here. Hold no punches. A real uh, revolutionary right now. <laughs> I support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. I thank you for being the voice of Black America, Roland. I love y'all. All momentum we have now. We have to keep this going. The video looks phenomenal. See, this difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. You can't be Black-owned media and be scared. It's time to be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You dig?